Hey everyone, Lefko here. Today we're checking out the Binding of Isaac Four Souls, uh, the Kickstarter edition gold box, which uh, apparently is only going to be made available on Kickstarter, or was only available on Kickstarter. Um, it is currently November 30th. Uh, they got these out right on time. And I was just doing a quick unboxing to see what we got. So, um... I'm going to zoom out here a little bit because I picked up a playmat with this. There was a $55 edition that included the playmat. $35 just included the base game and a few extras. or Not the base game, I'm sorry. The gold box version of the game, which was the Kickstarter exclusive. There's a $25 base game version. But we're going to come out and out and out and out and out and out. <laughs> Uh, the four-player playmat for this thing is massive. <laughs> um, I have it here on our D&D uh, &D game table. It is just ridiculously huge. But, uh, yeah, definitely comfortable for a four-player setup because uh, the D&D &D table we have can roughly hold probably about six players. But, uh, yeah, as you can tell, it takes up most of it. But uh, to do a quick kind of unboxing of the game... Up here we have the uh, main treasure deck. Um, as far as the uh, cardstock quality, uh, the cards are thinner than Magic the Gathering cards, but they have a glossy texture to them. Uh, the closest thing I could equate it to, if you uh, have played Cards Against Humanity, the cards that come with it, these cards are almost identical to Cards Against Humanity with their finish. But, uh, next up we have the monster deck here I believe it is mostly the monster deck there might be something else mixed in let me double check nope it was an illusion based on how the cards are printed it is all monster deck <laughs> and then of course here we have the item deck And over here we have, uh, if you play the game, the idea is to collect four souls. There are three or four uh, special ones that you can get, and that is that. I wouldn't call it a deck. It's only a few cards, but there is another expansion that they're working on in the future. Got the Who Am I deck, which is your player selection, and uh, on top of it is their eternal items. Of course, we have the game manual, which is kind of a bummer because it's uh, almost too big to fit in the box properly. It's not fitted quite right, just a couple millimeters off, but uh, again, first production version of this game. Uh, of course, we have a red D6 with black lettering and a black D8 with red lettering. One cool bonus here is that it does come with a coin bag, a penny bag, which I really like. Uh, I'm going to reach in real quick. And here is one of the pennies. They are plastic. But you have the standard penny there with the uh, pentacle on the back. And then we got a few bonus items. Uh, we got some stickers of the four main characters in the game logo. Of course, we have a, a cathedral-style stained glass version of Isaac himself. A crying Isaac pin that I feel I need to wear at work to symbolize my feelings whenever I'm at work. <laughs> and a Garbage Pail Kids creator made a postcard using uh, his own unique style to make the barbecuing of Isaac, which is pretty good. Now, if you got the gold box version of the game, you also have this here. It's not all uh, treasure deck. It is the first expansion pack for the game. It is a Kickstarter exclusive. So if you uh, didn't back it on Kickstarter, uh, you didn't get it. Or if you got the core $25 game, you didn't get it. And, of course, the massive playmat, which... Uh, was well, at the $55 tier. I'll spread these out a little bit so you can get the idea of uh, not only the size of the playmat again, but some of the cards in the 
bonus pack. But yeah, um, cards look good. Uh, everything shipped on time, which is crazy for Kickstarter. Because usually with Kickstarter, you experience delays on the estimate and uh, whatnot. They have problems with printing or with production. But yeah, this, uh, this card game actually came out right on time. Uh, so again, that's a look at the Binding of Isaac Four Souls Gold Box Edition. And uh, hopefully, whenever the... Uh, Another expansion pack comes out for it. Edmund McMillan says he's working on one expansion pack. So as, uh, as soon as it comes out, we'll take a look at it. Uh, the one caveat that I did have was I was wishing that the cards actually had uh, dividers that were in the box. That way you could kind of divide all the different decks separate from each other. That's something you could make on your own. But uh, overall, it's a fantastic looking set up and uh i look forward to playing the game till next time have a good one